I will address Nick and his crazy behavior. Um, the guy has serious mental health issues. I'm not here to make fun of anyone with mental health issues. And that's hate speech. He had, somebody had my uh, video flagged for hate speech. And I was able to get it back. Imagine that, hate, hate speech. So if that's a hate speech and Bur and uh, Nick condones that, well, Nick also has his own hate speech going on in his Twitter account that I witnessed and I was appalled because I went along with all the crap because I really didn't believe he was a racist because of certain things that he said. He didn't sound like he had hate in his heart as a racist. But after reading his Twitter, I changed my mind completely. I've never really read his Twitter. He's constantly changing his Twitter account, changing the name on his Twitter account. I saw the hate in his Twitter account. He hates Jews. He hates gays. He hates blacks. He thinks we they should all be eliminated. Hi, Shitty Greg. He thinks they all should be eliminated. He didn't have one thought for the fact that, uh, well, he didn't have an opinion for the fact that Berg said blacks should be executed. That's what he said. And he agreed with it. In my chat, he agreed with it. He has said some hateful things that I hadn't witnessed before because I don't really go around on, you know, panels on chat rooms where he is involved. I just don't. I go to work. I can't keep up with a lot of the drama. I don't follow Nick around very rarely. I mean, do you see me in Nick's chat? So I'm really not clued up on what he does. So last night, I'm going to play what he did. Last night, he wanted to play this game. Well, he lost because he thought he was trolling me, but he wasn't. I was actually trolling him, and he did lose this argument. He lost it so badly when he tried to compare situations, which, which you can't. Let me just play what he said. It, I had to put it on private. I got both of the videos back, but I private, privated them. I didn't want people to get offended after the fact. I wanted to show people the situation, and then I privated it. So they were flagged. I got them back. I pleaded my case, and I got them back. So I want to do a response. Not going to lie, it really took me by surprise. I was, you know, it was funny, but... After it was over, I had other things I wanted to say. Yeah, just give me one second, because I just wanted to say, this you remember Nick. when you thought that Kim Fisher illegally recorded you, but she was in a state with one one party consent laws, and you, well, but she didn't break the law. I'm not defending Kim. I don't like Kim. I'm not defending Kim, but she didn't break the law. Because she's in a one-party consent state. Like, I record phone calls all the time. Hang on. I want to split the screen because I want you to see this disgusting racist. I want you to see this disgusting racist. It changed my opinion and mind. Everything he has done and said, I wasn't aware of until I saw it for myself. Now I believe 100%. I, I think he's very sick. I think he has some sort of crazy bipolar. He's insane. And like I said before, he seems like the type of person who will open fire on somebody some in, some uh, organization or some federal building. He just so he's so unstable. It's scary. It is so scary how unstable this guy is. Well, right. listen, check it out. The phone call that you're playing right now okay. was recorded in a two party consent state without the consent of one of the parties. Okay, what he's talking about is I did a video on this same uh, stream of. Another video, there's actually two videos out there, of a, a recorded conversation. It, it's already on the Internet. So I wasn't committing any crime. This guy thinks I'm committing some sort of crime. And the reason I recorded it is because he mentions my name in it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be interested. Just like the rant, the racist rant Burke said the other night, he talks about me in it. And if you're going to talk about me, I'm going to respond, whether you like it or not. So that is a wiretapping call that you're playing right now. So you have a mad problem with double standards. Double standards in what way? Well, I mean, like, you don't want Kim to record you illegally, and you definitely wouldn't want those 
recordings to be played, probably. No, I don't care if she recorded me. I, I never said anything to Kim that I need to be worried about. You said you cared if she recorded you. No, no I didn't. Never. I don't care if people record me. You see, I'm too smart at this point. After three years on YouTube, I'm very cautious about what I say. I certainly don't confide, confide in anybody on YouTube. I don't. Even if I get to know you, there's some things I just am not going to confide in with people on the internet. Uh, even my closest friends. Things I care, I don't care. Keep a secret, you keep it to yourself. You don't share the secret because it's no longer a secret. So if anyone cares, if anyone thinks I care, I don't care. Oh, no, 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 I don't care. You honestly think I would talk to people on the phone and be concerned somebody was recording? I'm not stupid. No. no my first but you, well, then, so, but you pretended to care. No, I didn't. It just makes her look bad. It makes her look bad to start a relationship with somebody. We're all going to meet. We're going to have vacation. And then I'm, she's telling everybody she was recording me the whole time. How does it make her look? It doesn't make me look bad. But it, it makes it makes JT look bad that you're, and, and it makes you look bad that you're playing a wiretap phone call. I don't know anything about that. I don't know. Uh, this guy just I'm telling you, so now you know, and you can't play it anymore because you're. Uh, first of all, who are you to tell me what to do? Now you know. I, I don't care what I know. That's a video that's already on YouTube. So it's, I didn't record it. I'm just replaying it. So, dude. Chill out and go home to your wife and children that you never spend time with, even though you have no job. Breaking the law, and you know facts of the law if you no. already know. No, I don't know where either of those people live, number one. Don't care. It's already Washington, on the both of them. It's dual party consent. It's already on the internet, Nick. It's not my responsibility. Did you not hear Berg say where they live and that he didn't want that call recorded? And that I mean, you know oh, what's going on. That's the chance you take when you deal with YouTubers. The chance you take is when you call somebody they're going to record. It, it's just how it is. I learned my lesson a very long time ago. A very long time ago. It's over and just re-streaming it. I'm re-streaming something. If he wants to strike me, let him strike me. Why are you Where, it it? Cut from a nameless, faceless troll, you're going to stab someone who actually puts their identity on the internet in the back. That called you a friend. Uh, he actually was talking about me in that phone. So, um, yes, I'm going to play it. And I'm going to respond to it because he was talking about me within that call. That said, you used to be friends. Bert never. said, I used to be friends with Witty. Never, we were never friends. I'm never friends with friend somebody who calls me this. Go same. back 20 seconds in his video. He said he was talking to JP and he says, yeah, Witty Widow and I, we used to be called. I was listening. I was listening just now. Never his front. Come on. Cut it out. That's ridiculous. Well, maybe you had him fooled. I mean, maybe you had, you had, you fooled. Yeah, you maybe had, you had Kim fooled, right? No. You gave up, you, you sold Kim out to the wolves. I sold Kim. She sold herself out, Nick. Well, you had her back until it became a sinking ship that you were going to drown on. I did. It, you, it wasn't the hill that you wanted to die on. You I did not want to die on Kim Hill. No. And I don't blame you. No, I'm not. I'm not I, wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to die on Berg's Hill, though. You're looking like any no, Like, this is the most boring, mundane. You're, you're no, like, no. acting like a fucking social justice warrior. You've got, you've got Kit and Kat. Hold on. You've got Kit and Kat in the chat saying, I think I'm going to tell Black Lives Matters about Berg's in Seattle. Right. That's inciting violence. What? Uh, okay, Nick. Have you been reading and going through Twitter feeds? Do you know how many white women, you're just going to call me a Karen in a minute, do you know how many white women are getting called out for their racism? And so we shouldn't call Bergs out? Like, I don't understand. He literally said he wants blacks to be executed. Those were his words. Uh, yeah. He actually wanted to beat up the manager of the post office. Because he was wearing Black Lives Matter outfit. And you want to call me a Karen? Why don't you tell Kit and Kat I don't condone that? I do condone it because that's his own responsibility. Keep so you think, but you said he was mentally ill. So you condone doxing a mentally ill to a dangerous mark. Okay, you're mentally ill. You're mentally ill. Berg's is a drunk. He is an angry, narcissistic drunk. 
He is capable of controlling his actions, capable of going to get a job. He chooses not to. If he could be in his garage, mom's garage, six hours a night till four in the morning, playing guitar, screaming at the top of the lungs, he could go to a job, even part-time. If a person is capable of doing those things, He's not mentally ill. That's how I feel. Maybe he has a disorder, like a personality disorder. I'm not a doctor, but I can see one thing. You have some sort of disorder. Why don't you work? You spend 24-7. You hardly ever sleep. You always look exhausted. You spend all this time with these these ridiculous theories, these conspiracy theories, this political shit, your hate for mankind, everybody's against you, the FBI are watching you, you're contacting the FBI because someone on YouTube said something bad about you. You're not, dude. Go get help. Go to a doctor and take your meds and get a job and support your family. You are pathetic. You are not a man. No excuses. Yes. Yes. You are Antifa. You are Antifa. I don't know what that whether is. you whether you associate with that group or not, your ideologies fall right in line with the anti-fascist groups. Don't don't go back eight months. I thought he was funny for like a week, and then I realized he wasn't funny. That's really how he was. I thought. No, but was, you're acting like a cultural Marxist. Oh my God! Look, Do you out. not see that? Chill out. This is entertainment. We're having a laugh. I don't care. I don't think Bergs is entertained. Well, then he shouldn't be doing that in his mother's house. I'm not. You can't be his. Baby. Why don't you pick on me? Hey, nigger, 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 nigger. Fuck niggers. Fuck you. Fuck Jews. Fuck them all. What's your problem? Pick on me, you stupid old bitch. Why do you pick on people with mental problems? I'm not picking. Pick on, on me, you dumbass. Say something. I'm too busy laughing, by the way. What do you have to say? Nothing. You're doing this for views. Of course, Cut it out. of course I'm doing it for views. And I'm not taking your bait. Look at him trying to bait me so badly. Stop acting like a fucking Karen. I am a Karen, and I work at Walmart. I'm a Walmart. You're greeter. acting like it. You're acting like it. You're a Walmart greeter. You're really <laughs> acting like it. Okay. I'm acting like it. Shame anyway. on you. You say this man has mental illnesses and you want to fucking do this? Yeah. This is animal trash. And you're animal trash, Nick. And you know, he spams, he spammed, the, which he's going to do now. He spammed the chat with the N word. I agree, Mohammed. He's losing his shit over this. He's losing his shit over this. And when we, it's so weird because he just snaps and it's scary. And I agree now with what Kim says. He's raising children and he acts like this in his home in front of his children. And now I see Jesse going along with it. And I never saw that before. Jesse always took a step back, and I thought, those kids are safe. Jesse's raising them. She doesn't believe anything that he says. Um, she said she voted for Hillary, blah, blah, blah. So, but then when I saw Jesse agreeing with this, and I saw his Twitter, I wanted to throw up. I wanted to throw up when I saw his Twitter. I immediately blocked him and now I believe 100% he is a complete and utter racist whereas before I believed his freedom of speech but now now it's a whole different thing I have excused it because I actually didn't think he continuously